Hey, welcome to another episode of Terrible TV. I'm here with I'm Alex. Hello, that's me. It's a weird username. It's, it's weird like... saying I'm with I'm Alex because I'm not, you are. Am I? I think so. <laughs> We've started this video with an existential crisis. Yeah, and that's what this person is going through right now. Yes, today we're looking at a video called Sabrina the Millennial Witch, who just from that title has the worst personality of all time. And she's a woman who lives as a witch in modern day times. Also known as a schizophrenic. <laughs> <laughs> Being a witch is definitely the most important part of my life, and it touches everything that I do. Clean your cat. Of course, a person who thinks they're a witch has, like, just a fucking stinky pussy. <sighs> Clean it. Watch that shit. When I tell people I'm a witch, usually no one cares. Because <laughs> they're not real. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you think that's, pe that's people not caring or when she goes, I'm a witch, do you reckon that's people just going, ah, and then just backing away? Yeah, people are like, oh, I don't want to get cursed, so, you know, <laughs> I'm just going like, to, I'm just going to walk away from you. Oh, I mean, also, in what part of conversation do you meet somebody and that's the opening line? Because that's not your job. Like, no one pays someone oh, oh, to be a you, witch. What, what do you do full time? Oh, I do magic. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, what, so you're like a clown? No, no. I'm no, a witch. I actually think that magic's real, real, and I'm a witch. Ah, all right. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna leave you alone. I was gonna hire you for a birthday party, but now I'm just like call the police on you. <laughs> people don't freak out anymore generally. However, like you do sometimes get the people who are scared. I like that reaction. I think that's a good one. Are they scared because she's a witch, or are they scared because based on this video, she goes around like with skulls and stuff? Yeah. If like, dude. I can just tell from that facial expression she's got an insufferable personality. Got nothing to do with being a witch. No, that's just a bunch. Like, when she goes, I'm also a witch, you go, yeah, well, I've had enough of a warning already. <laughs> like, the giant titty tattoo and all the facial piercings weren't enough. You go, oh, I'm also a witch. Like, oh, no, that's fine. I already didn't like you. I didn't need the witch thing to confirm it, but that'll be my main reason. 27-year-old Sabrina has been practicing witchcraft since she was just seven years old. What do you mean practicing since she was seven? That means she was bullied in high school <laughs> and tried to make up an excuse why people didn't want to be around her and it was because she was cursed. And not because she had an insufferable personality. Dude, if you... So she's been practicing since she was seven years old and she hasn't worked out that it's not real. No. Do you reckon she got like a letter through from Hogwarts? I was living in the suburbs in middle America. It's no fun. I was brought up in spiritualism um, through one of my parents. So she just said that like, oh, I became a witch because I was bored as fuck. What are you doing? That's just admitting that like it's bullshit. I made it up. Yeah. It's like I was really bored. So I was like, I need to resort to being imaginative to be able to make my day go well. Hey, well. She said she was from fucking middle America and then she came up with a new belief system. Isn't that Mormons? I grew up everyone like making fun of you. Ha ha, Sabrina Teenage Witch, ha ha. Because there was so much animosity where I lived towards people who were witchy. No, they just hate weird people. It's, number one, it's not, if you could come out as like, I could do fucking magic. <laughs> That'd be so cool. cool as shit. Nobody's going, oh, shut, well, actually, no, because they didn't just, actually, no, they burned people and drowned. Actually, I'm not, yeah. Yeah, but Maybe. they couldn't do magic because all these people that got burned, they were like, oh, my cow came out with three heads. You did that. And they go, no, I didn't. But if someone came out was like, bro, check this shit out. I can turn water into wine. That was Jesus. I almost they like, crucified him. It, yeah, he did do that. It's, yeah, no, maybe it's a good idea. I almost like the idea that people are like, oh, you said you're a witch and a wizard, but you can't do shit, and that's why we're going to burn you. If you're so yeah. magical, you get out of this one pretty quick. Yeah, that's true. That's what we should do to her. <laughs> we are currently at one of my absolute favorite stores to go get magical supplies. And as you can see, there is an awesome whole wall of every herb you could pretty much ever want. You're at a fucking herb shop. 
Yeah, you're literally what working on what you're gonna put in your pasta later. <laughs> it's like it's like all these other people are just there seasoning their food, and she's like, "Okay, oh this is magic powder." No, it's not you, crazy bitch. It's time. Yeah, or rosemary. Like, <laughs> like, what exactly is that going to do to make you even more magical? Although a really good meal could be like some form of magic concoction itself. You, you don't knock it until you tried one of our pasta bakes. <laughs> Um, because all of the candles are basically figurines, which is the most fun thing ever, right? So you can use these in uh, love spells or... This chick isn't a witch. She's just a fucking Instagram girl who's not hot enough. Yeah, she's just a goth. No, that's what she is. She's a goth. Yeah. They've gone, goths, they're weird. And then she's like, look at all this goth stuff I can get. That must make me magical. That's all this is. This is this is literally just people I knew in high school. This bro, Harry Potter would suck if if it was just seven books of him buying candles. Yeah, he just goes, guys, I've done something really crazy. Voldemort wants to kill me for this. I've shaped a candle into a person. And then I went and I bought some rosemary. <laughs> Fuck. Wait, wait until you try this new chicken that I've just made. I've seasoned it really well. So you can use these in uh, love spells or uh, if you want to do something for someone or on someone. Is this bitch gonna do some magic? I don't think so. Because I'm watching a six minute video of her buying candles that look like dildos. I was about to say the exact same thing. Like, what are these? Who are these people that these are meant to look like? Like, if you look like that, you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're a giant cock <laughs> if you look like that. She's gonna cast a spell and then someone's just gonna get a- that, I mean, that's what their penis is gonna look like. Yeah, it's just gonna look incredibly deformed. Lumpy and fucked. Of course. Sex magic. Everyone does it. <laughs> oh, we were taking the piss. <laughs> so we... <laughs> we started out like, oh, how funny would it be if she started doing spells on dicks and we haven't watched this before. This is just how fucking predictable and basic this is. This is the progression is. of this. Wow. This is incredible. Imagine being the guy who unfortunately has the same cock as that. And she's doing magic to it all the time with her rosemary and thyme. Fuck. Then we're going, oh, I've got a really well seasoned cock. <laughs> <laughs> like, her idea of magic is making her poor boyfriend's cock taste like pasta. Which is not enjoyable for anyone. No, that'd sting. To be honest, I find the stereotypical witch clothes kind of annoying. <laughs> Imagine if she was walking around just as like a, one of those Halloween costume witches though. That, I would find it more believable if she did that. Despite not dressing like a stereotypical witch, Sabrina does, however, practice spells and involve herself in other areas of magic and witchcraft. She does some rosemary stuff, but also, do you know what witches have? cats so therefore she's a witch so they've gone well how are you witch and she's like well i i do spells and uh other things like that the only thing that witches are is a magic woman she's not once gone all right look i'm like a book flying out of the wall <laughs> she's just gone all right i'd like shopping for literal spices and, and I have penis -shaped dildo shaped candles in my room, which is why there's loads of bad vibes. Because people walk in my house going, oh, she was pretty odd, but like, I can deal with that. And they get they see cock candles and they go, I'm pissed off. Why am I yeah. here? It's like, just because you have a cat and you do anal, it doesn't mean you're a witch. Sabrina also teaches her craft to other aspiring witches. I teach witchcraft because I think that it is a skill set that is accessible to everybody. If it's accessible to everybody, then it's not fucking useful then, is it? Because if everybody could be magic, then nobody would be doing their fucking stupid day jobs. Yeah. We'd all be walking around on broomsticks flying around. Nobody would, <laughs> nobody would be doing this. Nobody would be reading anyway. As soon as you learned like the spell that allowed you to make anything out of nothing, you'd fuck off forever. Yeah. You'd be like, I'm done. She literally gets home and lights candles. I think that's the only thing she's done. The only thing she's done is go to the shops, buy a candle, and then go like this with her cat. She spent so much time dedicating herself to witchcraft that she's no longer able to pay the electricity bill. So she's had to buy those candles to replace that. It's not yeah. magic. 
It's called not being a functioning member of society. There's That's why she there. hasn't read the books for a while, she said, because there's no fucking light right. in her house. There is this kind of false mystique around what we do that is like, oh, I could never do that, or I'm, I don't have the ability to do that. And nobody's saying, oh, do you know what? I can only do like the rosary and time stuff, but like the dildo stuff, that's too far on the, on the magic scale for me. Now that guy, I don't want a fucking dildo in my house or a candle, but would to look at me weird. You're lucky nobody visits you. I have family still. My goal in practicing witchcraft is mostly to just feel connected to the world and to feel connected to myself and to everyone else around me. None of these women are saying anything. If they're saying nothing, they're doing nothing, and they're calling themselves witches. If somebody said, why do you want to be a witch or a wizard? I'd be like, kill a few people I don't like in epic ways. And yeah, also, like make, make someone explode. Yeah, and make shit float out of pure will. They're yeah. like, I want to be more connected to the world. It's like, go read another normal book <laughs> or hang out with people in a library. Don't try and be- I want to feel more connected to the world. Get one friend. Honestly, you'd be more connected to the world if you didn't believe in witchcraft and wizardry. <laughs> That's the number one way you know that you're disconnected. Uh, if you've gone, do you know what? I want to, I want to connect with people. So I everyone don't. just goes, fucking weirdo. Yeah, nobody looks at it and goes. These are the people I want to fucking hang around with. That's why you're so disconnected. When I see teaching, especially in a university context, a lot of the young generation is very keyed into political issues and they're very aware about what is happening with marginalized communities. I think it's only natural that there will also be an attraction to things like witchcraft and magic and spirituality. Being a witch is important to me because it's everything that I do. It's how I see the world. And so it's, I can't disagree. Is she trying, is she really trying to turn witchcraft into the face of fighting for social justice for marginalized groups. She literally just compared witchcraft <laughs> to literally being like a minority. That's Bro. incredible. If if Martin Luther King could do magic. Ro no, if he rocked up and he was this chick, if Martin Luther King rocked up and fought for the civil rights movement and he had two dick shaped candles in his hand and he wore a witch hat, they would bring slavery back. Could they be like, oh, well, we can't trust this guy, clearly, we've and gone then, too and far. And then they'd bring it back and he'd go, I'm a fucking wizard, and he'd go like that, and it'd be gone again. <laughs> and so it's, I can't distance it from myself. It's not something that I do on weekends or like on full moons. It's like full on, all the time, every day. Basically, she's got nothing else to do. Mm. So she's permanently resorted to sitting indoors, lighting candles, until one day one of them falls over and engulfs the apartment in flames. Well, thanks for joining me, mate. No problem. Uh, do you want to cast a spell? Maybe get people to subscribe to my channel? <laughs> Uh, subscriberino to Lewis Spears. I made that up on the spot. It's a great spell. That I is good. It. Check out Alex's channel as well. Uh, he's really good and we've known each other for years and we finally got to do a video together yeah. in LA of all places. Yeah, exactly. Covered in this terrible Airbnb magician place. But yeah. We don't even know where we are. Um, bye.